What are the top myths surrounding buyer agency that are maybe holding people back from getting deals done? Uh, Mike, this is Mondays with Mike, and I wanna say there are many myths out there surrounding buyer agency. I'm just gonna hit the first few, because one of them actually came up this weekend. There's a buyer that we've been talking to who we haven't actually met yet. We've been trying to line up a listing for them to see, and we found out they've actually been going to all kinds of listings uh, with whatever agent had posted the listing. And they actually said to us, I thought that when you saw the realtor on Zillow or realtor.com, like on the side, I thought you had to go through them. Okay, so myth number one busted. You most definitely do not have to call the agent whose face you see next to the listing on Zillow. Uh, there, are, there are paid ads on Zillow, realtor.com, uh, all of those aggregator sites. That is their model. That's how they make most of their money. At least that's how they were making their money up to this point. Uh, that is not necessarily your agent. Uh, and if it's the listing agent, which is the next one, also not your agent. So myth number two, if I go directly to the agent who's listed the house, they will be a dual agent, be my agent also. Definitely not true. Uh, the listing agent represents the seller. They have all their duties to the seller. They could get the seller's permission to be a dual agent and sign an agreement with you and disclose themselves as dual agents, but I would say 9.9 out of 10 times, that does not happen. And a lot of times, you don't even get the agency disclosure from the agent because they may not know to do it. So be on the lookout for that and know that the listing agent does not have your best interest in mind. And in fact, they cannot really give you advice that's adverse to the seller. So you're, you're at a disadvantage there. Uh, now, what's the, what's the other one that comes along with that? Myth number three, if I go directly to the listing agent, I'll get a better deal on the house uh, or I'll get the house, right? Everybody is seeing all these lines. They're really nervous about competition. Well, if I go directly to the listing agent, they'll make more money and therefore I'm going to get the deal over somebody who brings an agent. Let's take it one at a time. Making more money, maybe, depends on the deal that they have worked out with the seller. Uh, Will you get an advantage from that? Well, it depends. I can tell you as a listing agent that if I have 10 offers, nine of them are from people who have an agent and one is from a direct buyer, sure, the buyer wants the house, but the agents really want to get paid. And the agents will advocate and the agents will push and push and push and push. And there are rules uh, at, uh, on, on timelines for responses uh, and if you have experienced agents that are working for you, they can work those rules and really keep pressure on the listing agent. Uh, now, the other side of that is, if I see the agent who's representing a buyer when I have a listing is an experienced agent or I know them, and they're advocating for their buyer, they're saying, I've vetted this person, I've been working with them, we will close if you go with us. And then I have an unknown quantity. It's a buyer who walked in, they're promising the world, they're saying all the right things, but I don't really know them. And they certainly don't know the process. And when I'm a listing agent, I don't do dual agency. So I'm not really getting into the weeds too much with their finances. There is a risk there. So sure, maybe I'll make more money if I double end a deal as a listing agent. Um, but there's always a risk of it breaking up. So a good agent, is oh, really don't even have to be a good agent. Any agent is, is naturally using their instincts or they're using past experience to figure out the odds of it closing. And if I know that agent X, who's been in the business for 20 years, I've done deals with them before saying this will close and that they've been out with them for a month, in my mind as the, as the gatekeeper, the one who's advising the seller and, and in a lot of times is, is the filter for the seller as to what I'm hearing, and how the offers are presented, I'm probably gonna say if asked, I trust that this agent has a solid buyer and I couldn't honestly say that these other direct buyers who I just met are gonna be as sure a bet. So keep that in mind. The thing that, that really could be the best go thing going for you when you have a buyer agent is just their experience and their ability to get through to the listing agent. Um, All right. So I don't want this to go too long. It already has gotten a little longer than I thought. Like I said, there are plenty of buyer agent myths out there along with <laughs> dozens of other real estate myths. If you have a, a topic, if you have a myth that you want me to debunk or confirm, uh, DM us definitely if you're seeing this on social media. We're of course reply by email if this is going to you by email and we'll see you in the upcoming month. Lots to do and we're very excited for the start to this year.